Wanted to do a uh, quick video on how to use ChatGPT to write emails. A lot of times in IT and in business, you want to write like a, a kind of a general um, email out to uh, all users or something or, or all staff uh, ab about something in specific. And uh, you want to kind of formalize and uh, kind of want a boilerplate. And ChatGPT can uh, do this really well. Uh, so I'm going to give a couple of examples here and show you how you can use it. And uh, a lot of times you can just use it to give you kind of a general idea like you would look up a template for an email on a particular topic uh, on Google and uh, rewrite it. But this kind of writes most of it for you or all of it for you. So I'm going to put in here first, uh, write an email to alert users to the fact that the main database system will be down uh, Monday night at 6 p.m. until 6 a.m. the following day. And so if we put that in there, what will happen? It will actually write uh, an email and it will uh, put the uh, subject in. And, it, and these things in brackets right here is where it suggests uh, you fill in your name and your position and um, all that and you so you can you can type that in when you um, actually write the query to do it so we'll put it in there as well and so uh, here we can also adjust it so for instance it says Monday at 6 p.m. let's uh, add the, the date and year so it doesn't know the date or the year so you're gonna have to, to put it and uh, what we will do is we will put uh, put the date as 11-4-24. And so we can add the date to it there as well, the specific date. As long, but see, it needs to know that. So you have to either add it when you write the query or tell it later. And so let's, let's say, so we have the main database, but say we want to add the name. Let's say uh, database is called uh, Nomad. And so it adds that into it. So you, whatever you want in it, you can add it when you do the query or you can add it later on. So let's do another example here real quick. Suppose you want to request a leave. You can actually put in here, write an email requesting leave on November 15th. And once again, these things in brackets are things that you can either edit yourself or you can go back and tell it to add it. Uh, let's say uh, supervisor's name is Bob. And so it changes that too. And then I think I got like one more example here that we can do. So a lot of times you might get a, uh, a system that goes down and uh, you want to put out something to everybody really quick, but you don't want to spend a lot of time writing it because you're getting calls. And, and so what you can do is you can put in here, uh, write an email telling users the main uh, website is down that we're working on it. And so it comes up with this. So anything that you need to write kind of a general uh, announcement of, and particularly if it's really quick like this, uh, where the system goes down and you want to get an email out really quick, it can help you a lot because it will do kind of the whole, it, 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 it puts all the stuff into a boilerplate, whatever you tell it. Uh, so finally, one more um, thing that we could do is another suggestion would be uh, the building is closed, write an email. So write an email saying that we are closed today because of inclement weather. So you can do that. You can say there's a delayed opening, tell them what time it is. And, and so basically you just need to write a sentence that tells what the email has to be or, or what you want in the email and adding any specific additional specifics that you can think of at first. And uh, it will go from there. So we'll write out the whole thing nicely for you and very quickly. So that's how you can use uh, ChatGPT to write emails.